For many Australians, the 12th of October 2002 will be forever remembered as the date that terrorism darkened Australia's doorstep. And it was just as I got back to the hotel, literally walked back into my room, when uh, you heard the, the explosions, the, the noise of uh, the bombs going off. And all of a sudden the lights went out. There was a, a, a loud uh, boom and, and the lights went out. Three separate explosions had rocked the popular tourist destination of Bali. And I remember the phone, the phone ringing in the lab, which was unusual for a Sunday. And then the phone calls just kept going. I got up on the Sunday morning to multitude of text messages and voice messages all concerning some of our colleagues that were actually in the Sari Club and had been victims of the bombing. But yeah, it was one of those times where you just had a feeling that yesterday was no longer the same, it's changed, that something had fundamentally shifted in the world, that this was one of the first times that Australians were deliberately targeted offshore. I'm Ray Martin, and Operation Alliance, the 2002 Bali bombings, is an historic four-part series that will take you inside the search for justice and the investigation by the Australian Federal Police and their Indonesian counterparts. You know, the Indonesian forensic scientists, they're well-qualified people, and they had a lot of bombings uh, on a regular basis at that time in Indonesia. You know, they weren't strangers to bombings. You'll hear first-hand accounts from those officers who helped the injured. There was a guy driving past in, uh, down the laneway in front of the hotel uh, in a ute. So I basically commandeered his ute, put Tim in it and as many injured people as I could and just said, get me to a hospital, get me to somewhere, a medical centre. Two forensic experts involved in the hunt for clues. We put a little heater in there and we made a super clue tent and we found that to be successful. And then we developed fingerprints. Now most people were looking at the floor, looked up, saw that ceiling and it's almost impossible to ignore what was up there and also those helping the families of the victims. Those of us that had to deal with that found that the most confronting. Feeling that loss first from the family members and then relating that to what was being done in the field. Operation Alliance is a story of extraordinary teamwork. For every person on the ground in Bali, there are at least 10 people back in Australia working to support those individuals, to supply them with the logistics, to enable them to uh, operate safely, you know, in a foreign country and be able to support them. And a story that shaped the AFP and the men and women within it like no other event in our history. To be part of that and be able to, um, to capture those responsible and uh, provide at least some, some outcome for families who've been through so much felt very rewarding, and but at the time you felt like you were part of something significant, something historic. That's what was happening in terms of Australia's history. I think as a police officer first and a commissioner second, we did everything we could uh, for the families and for those victims, and, and I believe we did bring those responsible to justice. But it's never ending, and we'll never give up and we'll never stop. Operation Alliance, the 2002 Bali bombings. Incredible first-hand stories from inside the AFP. Episode 1 is available to download from September 21, wherever you get your podcast.